please give me the two items, my personal ID is 15. But how much you're paying me? So she told that my personal ID is 15, so we need to update uh, item. No, update the owner. It's equal to 15 from item where uh, item. So he wants the ring and the teapot. What's the ring and teapot? I had the ring and teapot here. So I should find the. Alright, oh, cool. Cool. Teapot and ring. Oh, so I, I should write only the teapot and ring. Update items. Item set owner equal to 15. Where item is to put or item is what else she asked me for ring. Let me see. Ah, that's cool. That's correct. Next, here's some gold. How much? Plus 120. So I have 120 golds. She was rich. Unfortunately, that's not enough gold to buy swords. Seems like I, I, I do have to work after all. <laughs> Bro, reality, you have to work to get the money <laughs> to my real name before I will apply for a job. Maybe it's not a bad idea to change my name. <laughs> Alright, that's what I, I told you, bro. You need to change your name. So, update your name. Name. No, update. Or update inhabitant. But name equal to... What should... What's gonna be my name? Right, let, let's call you. Let's call you Lucas. Uh, from uh, where, where the table? Where name is equal to stranger. Let's go, Lucas. Name. Ah, oh, set. Set name. Alright, my new name is Lucas. <laughs> and now, since baking is one of my hobbies, why not to find a baker who I can work for? This all bakers and use order by gold to sort the results, order by gold descending. Okay, cool. Alright, we're gonna select. Everything from inhabitant. And the job job is equal to baker. Job equal to baker. And let's order by gold and descending. Aha, Paul, I know him. <laughs> Well, where's the Paul? The Baker man. His surname is Baker man. It's okay. Tiffany. Rita. Oh, Rita. Oh, well, he's, he's friendly. That's good. Hi, are you again? So, Lucas, is your name? I saw you want to work as a baker. Okay. You will be paid one gold for 100 bitterals. 100 bitterals, one, one gold. Pay me that money. I'm gonna do one gold for 100. I'm gonna do that work. Like, I wish I had such kind of work. Eight hours later, here I met 10,000 of bread rolls. Oh my god, I quit. This should be enough money to buy swords. Let's see what happens with my gold balance. Okay, let's uh, select some from inhabitants where the ID person ID is equal to 20. Let's see what's my gold balance now. My gold balance. Go on, run, run. Just run. Ah, right, so. Here's your new sword. Locos. Why Locos? My name is Lucas. Lucas, not Locos. Now you can go everywhere. <laughs> My name is Lucas. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, look. <laughs> That's so fun. 
Is that fellas on this island by any chance? He could fly me home. Job. Job is equal to pilot. Job like pilot. If any place you see the pilot, just let me know. Okay, there's a pilot. Oh no! This state is kidnapped! Someone has kidnapped the pi pilot. Let's save the pilot, Arthur the Taylor! Continue. Horrible, the pilot is held captive by Dirty Dieter! <laughs> I will show you a trick how to find out the name of the village where Dirty Dieter lives. Onionville. The expression presented here is called a join. What did we do the join? Honest, there's no join here, so... Continue. Thanks for the hint! I can use the join to find out the chief's name of the village, Onionville. In the village table, the person ID on of the chief is stored. So I should use the village to find the chief. Select... Select... What should, should I find? Chief's name, the name of the chief. Let's first see what we have the, in the table of the village. It's case sensitive. I forgot. Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, it's not the number of the chiefs. It's the uh, ID of the chief. The ID of the guy who's the or the girl who's the chief. So I want to get the name from from inhabitant. Inhabitant join uh, with village on person ID is equal to person ID is equal to chief and then we're gonna say where all right let's do inner join where village name by the way I should write the inhabitant dot name village name is equal to onion onionville let's check it Fred Dix it's a Fred Dix so uh, guys what did I do here I've chosen the name of from the inhabitants then I did the inner join I have joined inhabitant Table with village table where the person ID is equal to the chief ID. Then village name. Uh, I've indicated the village name that should be Onionville. How many impediments does Onionville have? Now we are seeing the uh, aggregation uh, commands of the SQL count from. Cool, eight. Hi, right, Lucas. The pilot is held captive by Dorothy in his sister's house. Shall I tell you how many women there are in Onionville? Nah, you can figure out figure it out by yourself. Where the village is the Onionville, right? The village name is Onionville, inhabited name. But I, I don't, I'm not in, interested in inhabitant name. I just, I'm interested in counting the people who are living in that village. So we are doing the count everything from inhabitant village. Where this and, and inhabitant point dot uh, gender is equal to F, female. Let me see. Six is incorrect. Why it's incorrect? I'm choosing the onionville. Oh, it's because we didn't join. We didn't join on. Can three people live in one village? Yes, they can. So we're gonna do left join. Let's first try with inner join and let's see whether it's given the problems on on a village ID.
Wait, but we don't have to write the village ID. We already have the village ID of the Onion Wheel. Don't we? Village ID. Select everything from village. I want to see the village ID of the Onion Wheel. Go. It's three. Now I'm, I want to see. I want to select everything. Select of count over everything. I think from inhabitant. Inhabitant. Where the village ID. Village ID is equal to 13, not 3. And uh, gender is equal to female. Let's go. Only one female! Oh, only one female! What's her name? Come on. Just chase the, choose the name. There's only one female. Dirty Diana. 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 Dirty Diana. Who is this? If you hand me over the entire property of our nearby Cucumber Town, I will release the pilot. Wait. She should have been a woman. Something went wrong. Anyways, I will release the pilot. I will show you now what his property consists of. Oh no, baking bread alone can't solve my problems. <laughs> if I continue working on selling items though, I could earn more gold than the worth of gold inventories of all bikers, dealers and merchants together. How much gold is that? Is what? Working on selling items. Then the worth of gold inventories. Where should I see the gold inventories? Ah, of gold um, all together. So we should count the gold of all all uh, bakers from where What does it say in which city? All bakers, dealers, and gold merchants together of in the cucumber town, I suppose. That's it. And and the so let's finish this one, and then I need to go. <laughs> so I, I will do the second part mm, next time. Well, the idea is to and and um, drop is in or contains i don't remember how what was that contain contains it should have been like this because i always uh, forget how to write all the bakers all the dealers all the merchants not bakers baker dealer let me see whether it's gonna work. Contain, probably. Or doesn't have contain. Result row are incorrect. Values in quotation marks are case sensitive. Baker, dealer, merchant. There's village ID is two. Uh, probably it's me. I don't have to s mention the village ID. And say only the job. The result row is incorrect. Ah, it's not count. It's I should do the sum. 